Oh my god, your poor dad. All right. Do we have to do the regular intro? You can't choose your sisters? Yeah. Okay. You can't choose your sisters, but you can choose your podcast. Wait, you have to say welcome back to your poor dad. Okay. (laughs) Welcome back to your poor dad. You can't choose your sisters, but you can choose your podcast. So thank you for joining us and being the fourth Brant sister. But today, you're the third Brant sister because we are doing our second episode ever of The FaceTime. Woohoo! And it was very hard for some of us to set up. Me. Me. (laughs) I just didn't understand. Like, it's still weird for me because I can't hear myself at all with these headphones on. I can Mm -hmm. hear you with the headphones on. So that's weird. I feel like I'm going to be like yelling, which is scary (laughs) because this microphone is going to pick up. I'm just going to be screaming at you. Um. <clears throat> and that's okay. That's that wouldn't be the first time. True. You're used to it. <laughs> yeah. Uh, um I think before we do anything else, we should say happy birthday to Bailey. Yeah, it's Bailey's birthday today. This will be coming out on the 26th, but Bailey's birthday is the 25th of January. Happy birthday, Bailey. Um it's crazy. I was thinking today, it's just so wild that I was alive for both of your births. Yeah, but you weren't alive for mine. No, that's how it works, you know? Yeah, it's it's just so weird because I remember Bailey, mom and dad's insurance changed, so Bailey had to be delivered at Kaiser. Yeah. And we were both delivered at Glendora Presbyterian Hospital. And mom had a little fake out the first time. So we had to drive all the way to fucking Fontana. Mm. saddle we had to saddle up the suburban she had like an old school suburban that had just like three rows of bench seats and fun fact about the suburban Paige would always unbuckle her seat belt (laughs) that held in her car seat so whenever my mom made a turn she would just (laughs) (laughs) flying across the bench seat (laughs) why would I do that and you would be stuck upside down (laughs) like a turtle and I would have to, she'd be, go, she'd be like, go back there and get her. She's like yelling at you to help yeah. me. When it's like, why would I do, you know what else, <laughs> you know what else I would do? What? I remember, um, Aunt St- I was with Aunt Stacy and she had this like little red car <laughs> and I'm pretty sure I was still in a car seat, but like we were, she was taking me to McDonald's, we're in the drive through <laughs> and I just like opened the car door. <laughs> But and I had to get out. I couldn't reach it to close it again, so she had to get out and <laughs> close it. It's like, why would I do that? Because you were annoying. Some would say I still am. Yeah, but yeah, it's. I remember getting Bailey, and she was the worst baby. <laughs> she literally would not stop crying. Could not. It would not stop crying. She could not be left alone from mom for a second. Yeah. And it was so annoying for the first like two years of her life. Yeah. Um, that was wild. I remember that. Yeah. Also, do you remember? Um, I think my favorite thing that we would do is trick Bailey into thinking that Rugrats was. <laughs> oh, Yeah. <laughs> Because we would be playing Barbies and then any older sister knows that like the baby is just going to fuck up your whole Barbie world. And like we had like this intricate sex colony of Barbies. <laughs> we would always make them make out and Bailey would just come in. And then like sometimes you'd have to like let it be, go have a snack and then come back and like reignite the game. And like you could never leave it with Bailey. Yeah, no. She, she would was, destroy it. She would destroy everything. Yeah. So And she had, had no idea out. She had no idea who was who, who was hooking up no. with who. Like she was gonna ruin everything. <laughs> she had no idea who the hot Bobby Bobbies the hot Barbies were. Yeah, but we did. Like We did. The S Club Seven Barbies were the hot yeah. Barbies. Yeah, and then our Mary Kate and Ashley Barbies, one of them was cuter. Oh, and that was like the sexy Barbie. Yeah. So. Wow. Good times. Good times. Um, Okay. So I have to tell you something and I wanted your genuine reaction because I totally forgot to tell you. Oh, no. I'm nervous. 
It's not that it's not that crazy, but I saw meat snack on the trail the other day. No way. Yeah. What was that like? Um, we both just kind of recognized each other, but I was running nine miles, so I didn't want to stop and chat. And also, I don't remember his name. I want to say his name is like Alex Gold, but that's not his name at all. That sounds like a football player. Um, yeah, I don't know. We It's so weird because like he was the first person I like went on a date with after Colorado. You went on like four dates with him and I was I know. disturbed. I was like, this guy sucks. He was so fucking weird. I'll never forget he airbnb his house out. He had a very like cute house on the east side and we had a Sunday date planned, but he had people airbnb his house and he insisted we meet at his house before this date. And I was like, okay, whatever. I show up and he's stressed, b- dusting and just brooming everything, sweeping or brooming, sweeping. <laughs> And there was like a clump of like dirt, but it really wasn't that bad. And he's like, these people wrecked this place. And I was like, why do you have me coming here then? We like don't know each other like that. Yeah. And I, that was our last date. There's like, mm, that's definitely one of my icks is when people think, when, whenever people treat you like they know you like yeah. really well too soon. It's like, you don't know me like that yet. Yeah. You still need to like impress me. You still need to. I don't know if I ever want to get there with you. Yeah, that was him. That was his major thing. And like, the <sighs> he was going to Dallas to stay with his parents that weekend. And then he was like, "Hey, this is gonna sound really crazy, and it might be too soon, but what do you? Would it be weird if we like got a hotel room in Austin, stayed downtown, and like?" He's like, because I Airbnb'd my house out, so I can't stay at my house. But I really want to hang out with you. Also, it's weird that you're airbnb your only house in the city that you live in when you're in the city. You know what I mean? It's like either yeah. like you either need to have two properties, like one you can actually live in while you're airbnb or like don't. You know what I mean? Yeah, like, it's just weird. Well, I think he traveled a lot, so, like, he would just... Okay, that makes more sense, because I was thinking, honey, why are you airbnb in this house? Let's tell the sisters why we call him Meat Snack, because that was, like, one of the first things he said to me, was, like, oh, we could go somewhere, and... Because I said, one of my prompts is, tell me how you like your meat. And he's like, we could Honestly, go somewhere. Honestly, that would be no, one of your steak. prompts. No, <laughs> steak. <laughs> Sorry, steak. You're not me. Tell me how you like hey. your meat. Tell me. That I'll, is pick me. <laughs> tell me how you like your meat and I'll tell you how I like mine. Um, Gross. Hank, Hank, mommy is recording a podcast with your auntie. Um, also, don't mind me. I'm just going to be doing a little bit of makeup while we're on this call. That's fine. That's what the FaceTime is for. Great. Um. Yeah, so seeing meat snack i still just wish wait I knew tell the meat tell the story about oh it. god damn it honey <laughs> you gotta screw that head on a little tighter S- uh, that right back at you she's doing a little concealer dab she's covering up those bags it's been a long night honey, i stayed up till past one o'clock um decorating for bailey's birthday mm-hmm. and the night before i didn't sleep a damn wink so <laughs> So we call meat snack, meat snack, because one of my hinge prompts is tell me how you order your steak. And then he said something like, oh, let's go out and like we can have a meat snack together. And I was like, has anyone ever responded to that and said, well done? They're like, well done, LOL. (laughs) Um, Yeah, no, he said something about his meat snack or what he, what he said he, he said, said we can go and get a meat snack which who says that meat snack <laughs> that's like and he was just like he would also do things like tell me where i should live because i was looking for a house at this time i didn't even like live in austin yet i was staying with you he also made a really inappropriate joke that stuck with me until I forgot it now. But he said... Oh, the making out thing? I don't remember. What was that? 
How he kind of like forced me to make out with him. Uh, that was different. Didn't like that either. <laughs> I don't know. I, I think it was like a he was trying to make a joke, but it was just like inappropriate. And I was like, this guy's such a loser. And you were like, he's a loser. And you were like, oh, my God, you're so mean. You are mean. I know. <laughs> You are like a little hard on people, but Meat Snack deserved it. <clears throat> I'm also not. Some people, some people just can't win with you. And they never will. <laughs> and that's just a little something about me. Like I have friends that are just like. I can think of you. one friend in particular of yours. He the guy. Will, he will never, ever. There's nothing he could ever do in this world. That would change my opinion of him. Nothing. No. Nothing. And he like yells at us. Didn't he yell at you about not liking him? Or was he yelling at me about you not liking him? Yeah. Um, he took it really personally. I know. We even had a one-on-one -on -one conversation. And I was like, I just don't like you. I think you're a bad person. And he was like very hurt and I said I'm sorry if that hurts your feelings but facts are facts <laughs> and you're never gonna get over this you won't get through it mm -mm. nope oh well you know we need we need the sister to have boundaries because some of us don't and that's Bailey and I I was gonna say you <laughs> definitely don't have boundaries I do have boundaries um kind of a lot that's good. And it works for me. <laughs> um, also, okay, so another thing I wanted to talk about was there's this girl I follow on TikTok that I had to unfollow because she was so annoying. Oh, my God. Like, Who? she was so pick me. And it's like, and, you know, the sisters, I was asking them, like, what do you guys want to hear? And they're like, let's hear your more controversial opinions. And I was like, honey, don't tempt me with a good time because I can talk shit mm -hmm. for a long time. Oh, so, um, continue. Sorry. I just wanted to say, like, if people DM me with topics that they – someone was like, to go off of Jade's topics that they want us to cover, where should I – where do you want me to send those? Honey, I just – maybe – Screenshot, screenshot it and send it, and I'll put it in a little document. Okay, continue. Okay. Well, this girl, she is a runner, so that's why I started following. She's a her. runner. She's a track star, and I'm a runner, and I'm a track star. Obviously, so it's like I need to follow like-minded people. But she was like, so I was at Equinox in New York, and they, I asked them if they had a um, a hair tie. And she's like, these guys were running all over trying to find a hair tie for me. And they were just like working so <clears throat> hard to find a hair tie for me. I like, saw that TikTok. And then th they were like, okay, we'll have a good run. And she was like, how did you know I was running? And they were like, everyone here knows that you run. You're always here and always running. It's like, pick me, pick me. Try, be more unlikable. Um, just I didn't it even it was a humble brag I didn't even finish the TikTok itself because I was so annoyed it was bad right yeah it wasn't just me being like oh and we're going in with the rare beauty blush don't it just a, just a dabble do <laughs> dabble do and then um, you oh don't forget to uh spritz your sponge spritz your sponge um, so what were the sisters saying they wanted us to talk about? So it was actually a brother. And he requested that Can we... You show my boobs? Mm, no, he probably would be fine with that. But he requested that we do a little segment where we put some thought into it. Mm -hmm. Where to meet, like dating in Austin. Ex the exact places he's now in his 30s he's like I assume I shouldn't be looking at the same places that I used to go in my 20s um yeah. you know what I mean so it's he's he's on he's on the right track he has the right mindset but um he just wants some help like what 
like what we would like to like where we would like to go you know okay i started um a google doc that i thought we could share with the sisters of like all of our favorite spots in austin because this girl was dming me like i'm going to this bachelorette party and here's our age this is like the vibe we're looking for and i was like honey i have it everything coming right up was that yesterday and one of my favorite mm-hmm. things is um you watching me kind, dm yeah like kind of stalking you because i don't want to open it but i'll get the notifications on my phone and i'm like ooh. so i only see the first like sentence yeah because you'll open it and then you won't respond because if i i respond sometimes but most of the time you think what i say is stupid so i just i don't no. i don't want the sisters to think i'm stupid no, I don't think you're stupid. Oh, thanks. One of the things that people wanted us to talk about was one girl wanted me to talk about 75 hard. I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> so I'll keep it brief. Um, I really don't think it's that hard. It's just planning ahead. I think... Because I really do want to try it. Um, I just don't know when I want to try it. Because I Bailey's birthday's today. And then my birthday's You're in like two gonna weeks. You're always going to have excuses. I know. But I really want to not think about... I, I at least want to wait till after my birthday. I think. Because okay. I really like my birthday. Okay. Well, then we also need to reevaluate your relationship with alcohol. Like, why do you need alcohol oh, to have fun? It's not the alcohol. It's um, like the all food? of the food. I really like the birthday treats. Okay. Well, okay. So this is what I'm doing for 75 hard. I'm not doing like a, a diet diet because like, you're supposed to stick to a diet. I'm just doing no cheat meals. So I'm trying, I'm prioritizing protein and carbs but like healthy carbs and I'm just staying within my macros. So like I had ice cream last week and it was like fine. It was not and it was Jenny's. So it's like healthy. Yeah. uh, Yeah. So that's what I'm doing for that. And I'm trying to stay within. I'm trying to hit like about 135 grams of protein, 145, I think, carbs and like 50 grams of fat. Okay. Um, So that's my diet. And then my exercise is hard because I'm going to the gym and training for this marathon and my body is breaking down on me. My knees are literally going to snap at any second. But <clears throat> um, on that note, mm-hmm. I really think that you should reach out to my friend Sam. I told her mm-hmm. that you have your coach that's helping yeah. you like with the running schedule and all that kind of stuff. But I think she would be a really good person to talk to. Um, anyways, yeah, I think talking to Sam would be good because she's like, a runner and runner. you know she could help you with some tips and tricks hank can you not can you hear my dog no um anyways so yeah the the working out part is i'll do the gym in the morning and i do group fitness class so like if you can you hear him i heard that he's so bad um he's just he you know where he gets it from his mother (laughs) (laughs) i was gonna say his cousins you know what i don't know if if you can see him oh oh Oh, that's an angel he's perfect um so for your workouts i do a group fitness class every morning because then it's just easy. You just go there. They tell you what to do. You can turn your brain off. You can work hard, whatever. And then in the afternoon, I'll do a long walk. So like 45 minute walk. Mm -hmm. And the gallon of water does get a little tricky because if you don't keep up with your water throughout the day, then you're just like chugging water at night. And then I peed three times in the middle of the night last night. In the middle of the night. Okay. In my pee. (laughs) <laughs> the other thing is just and this is I'm gonna have to figure it out kind of thing since I have the treadmill I can do a workout on my lunch break or something but after mm-hmm. work I get off work at like five so I don't 
I don't. I know, but in my mind, I don't want to go do something else. But I know that's it? why it's good because it gets you off your ass, honey. I ain't lazy. We know it, but you, sometimes you watch that Wheel of Fortune or whatever bullshit okay. you watch. And you want to know why I deserve that? Because I'm up on the roof cleaning the dryer lint traps. I'm fixing the dryers. I'm decorating for Bailey. I'm mowing the lawn. I'm trimming the edges. Like, I am I do a lot of shit. We know, but it, it will change your life. Okay. I think you'll just see old habits that you have been doing that you will get rid of and you won't even know until you start and you get rid of them and i have to say dry january and this is not going to be popular you guys aren't going to want to hear this but best thing i've ever done literally i've never why felt wouldn't so clear why wouldn't why wouldn't everyone want to hear that because i think there was probably a time in my life where I didn't want to hear that, like that drinking is bad. Um, I mean, facts are facts. Like, let's just be honest. Drinking is so bad. Like, I never felt more clear, more motivated, more like, Hank, uh, Jr. Your JR. mother, your mother is recording a damn podcast. Jr. is a he's a bad boy he has no respect for his mother and that is unacceptable i know i'm gonna go over there and bust his little butt (laughs) (laughs) um but yeah the dry january i feel so amazing i've and it like happened after like two weeks and i'm on i think week four the crazy thing about me is i I don't need to drink and then I just will because like I'm going to have wine with our steak tonight, right? Mm -hmm. Which is fine. Um, But like last night when I was decorating for Bailey's thing, I was like, yeah, I'll have like wine while I do it. Mm -hmm. But it took so – can we just – I'm sorry. Can we talk about my pie? The pie was really good. It took hours because I had never – done that kind of pie before um but anyway so it starts with a glass of wine but I'm taking so many hours decorating for Bailey's birthday making this pie whatever one glass of wine turns into like three or four Mm -hmm. and and that's the problem right it's not it's not the having a glass of wine with my steak dinner it's The steak dinner being like four hours and I keep refilling my glass. I also think that you will notice that like even just removing that one glass of wine will make you feel so much better. Yeah. And that's the annoying part because like I don't have a problem like not drinking and I don't have a problem like going out and having like one margarita, two margaritas. Like I don't need to be. It's more of like the the act of getting the margarita, the, you know, it's well and and for some reason, I think the the hardest part for me would be the the not ordering the one glass of wine with the steak, the not ordering the one margarita when I'm at a Mexican restaurant. You know yeah. what I mean? Even well, if it's just one, like I don't need that one, and that's what's going to be hard. But okay, same. And even like so, Mr. Roberts and I, we like went out this weekend and. He was laughing because, like, every single person I talked to, I was like, we're doing 75 hard. So, like, I would order a mocktail. So just order, like, a fun little mocktail. And it really does taste the same. I know you don't really like cocktails, though, but, like. Oh, I went to Zanzibar last Friday, and I actually did order (laughs) one of their mocktails, but I asked them to add Tito's. Mm -hmm. Um It was so freaking good. I'd go back just for that mocktail. That's what we did all weekend, and it was, like, so fun. But every single time the server, I was like, what is your mocktail list? We're doing 75 hard, so we're not drinking. And Mr. Roberts was like. that's like, like, pick me. No, Mr. Roberts was like, I feel like you're so, you want to make sure that they know we don't have a drinking problem, and this is, like, a choice. So I'm like, we're doing 75 hard. And then, like. 
we met up with friends and I was like, oh, we just came from Jenny's. And they're like, oh, cool. And I was like, because we're doing 75 hard. They're like, what does that have to do with it? And I was like, because it's our only joy that we have is the ice cream. And they're like, do you have a drinking problem? I was like, no. Maybe. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> but yeah. No, I am really proud of you. Um, Thanks. For 75 hard and for your marathon training well we'll see my knee is gonna bust any second so hopefully i'm about to run five miles after this that's why i'm drinking celsius not sponsored you shout out to flow rider bust one i just got a bust one I look cute like um this. did i tell you that bust one liked my our one year anniversary post mm -hmm. you think he knows oh my god and guess what he guess where he just moved where colorado oh <sighs> Colorado is tainted. Remember when we went to Colorado on that trip? Oh my <laughs> god! We need to. Do I'm telling you, a deep we dive. need to, the Jade. The stories we could tell, the stories we will tell. <laughs> we. Ne I don't know how. It's gonna have to be a a, pa a Patreon series or something because yeah. I don't want to hold anything back. I'm fine. I'm fine with maybe not saying names or whatever, but like details, I don't want to hold anything back. That trip was crazy. That's like I've never had a normal trip to Colorado. No, no time I've ever been there has been normal. Honestly, the scariest, the scariest part about that trip was, do you remember when I was hungover and I was throwing up and... um. I got so scared because I guess because of the altitude, I couldn't, you know, when you throw up, you have to like, you have to like breathe in. I couldn't breathe in because of the altitude. And I was like, this is how I die. That's so embarrassing. I'm going to be throwing up. I'm, you know, in the bathroom at the toilet and that's how I die. Isn't that but like how Elvis died? I don't know a lot about Elvis. Look at that. That's up. sad. Read a you book. You know what? I, I do need to read a book. <laughs> I'll be, I'll be That's another thing about 75 Hard. You have to read 10 pages every night. Yeah. Um, I already decided that if I'm going to do 75 Hard, I will read a book. But um, it's going to be a book like whatever I want. It's just a book. It's just going to be a book. Yeah. And then we'll like, move I on to self-help later. Yeah. I think I'll probably get back. I never finished Jessica Simpson's book. So I'll probably... Start, which I liked it. The thing about me is I like reading. I just hate <laughs> reading. I hate the act of reading, but I you want love, the knowledge. Yes. I want to know what's what's in there, but I don't like reading. Yeah. Um, I'll get there. You, you will. Know, you know what else we need to talk about? Maybe not right now because I know we're probably like wrapping up soon, but like we've got to talk about like friendships. Um, okay. How awkward things can be as a, a woman who's almost 31 which that's another thing I'm almost 31 30 I was totally fine turning 30 really? 31 yesterday it while I was decorating for Bailey's birthday because once Bailey's birthday is over then well, then it's mom's I guess but like you know I'm thinking about mine but like who uh, cares about mom's birthday <laughs> but like mom's not here um anyways I'm like 31 is crazy to me i don't know i but feel like once you turn 30 it's all the same it's all sixes and sevens anyways um a friendship Break ending up? yeah a friendship ending in your 30s is weird and i am going through this like weird thing with like a friendship right now and it is consuming my mind every single day yeah and i'm like this is so weird should we talk about friendship breakups next uh tomorrow because i have like an epic friendship breakup story yeah remember my roommate and mark's roommate did we already talk about that we kind of grazed it, but like I want to get into the details because I want the sisters to weigh in and be on my side because like I'm still not over it because I'm a Scorpio rising. Um, what am I? 
think you're like a Gemini rising, which is like really fucked up. Why? What does that mean? It means you're crazy. You're, first of all, I just want everyone to give me some credit that I have lived. Every woman in my life that is significant is an Aquarius. And that's the hardest sign to read in the whole damn uh, astrology horoscope. Adam, is that him? Um, Wait. Is this? I think I just found. Oh, you know what? What? This is um, Meat Snack. I forgot I made him get on CoStar. He's a Leo Sun, Leo Moon, Gemini Rising. That's fucked up. Let's see you. You are, oh, this makes sense. You're an Aquarius sun, a Gemini moon, and a Taurus rising. And Taurus are very stubborn. Very stubborn. That makes so much sense. Um, this is our compatibility. The one, the two places that we are not aligned on is our sex and aggression and our philosophies of life. That's because you're a sex girl and I'm not. I know. Um, okay, yeah, we can talk about friendships. Um, cool. Let's have people write in their friendship breakups. Maybe we should do this next week so we can give the girls time to write in. Yeah, and even if you don't have much to say say it about the about the story like you can write in about your feelings like it sucks not to cut you off but bailey is also an aquarius or a taurus rising and she's fucking stubborn too you both are crazy she's a scorpio moon which is oh also speaking of um aquarians um paris hilton had her baby and so wild so paris hilton is an Aquarius, and apparently so is her husband, and now their baby. That's too many Aquarius. That's mom. That's mo- I. I know. That's what I was. It's literally mom. Bailey's birthday is the twenty fifth. Mom and our other grandmas is the eighth. Pages is the twelfth, and then our other grandmas the sixteenth. God rest her soul. Oh my God! I found Meat Snack's name. Um, what's it start with? A. It, it's not far off from Alex Gold, I will say that. I would say it on here, but... Nah, no. not worth it. <laughs> no. Well, we're at 35 minutes, girly pop. Yeah, we and should go. I'm about to have meetings. Oh, sh- oh brag, why don't ya? I have a job. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, you guys let us know what you liked about this episode share it with a friend please for the love of god we're begging you for the love of god please get us more sisters yes um and we're going out to dinner with us three mr roberts and sticks tonight so maybe we'll Mm -hmm. have some like fun stories to tell i hope so okay well wave bye to this what (laughs) Um, and when you write into us, you can do that at yourpoordad at gmail.com. And I'm reading them now um, and I'm helping Bailey because I don't have a job. So don't worry. And, send whatever in. And guess what? It doesn't have to be a PDF. Yeah, because I don't care. Because Jade doesn't care. Oh, wait. Also, I just want to do a quick little shout out. Um, one of our listeners sent me a drunk voice note this weekend um, on Instagram. And it was so funny. She was at the Chiefs game and she's like you could tell she's like wasted and she's like Paige is BB here and it was really really funny and her last name is Brant so she like might be a cousin or something who knows oh my gosh I know a real sister of an actual sister yeah um okay that's all all right say bye to your sisters (laughs) bye sisters (laughs) 